Okay, so let's talk about the hand now. Um, did you know there's 29 bones, 29 joints, at least 123 ligaments and 34 muscles in your hands in each? Um, so technique will definitely help us to improve our practice. And um, just like the foot, we we'll need to remember that we press down the four corners of the hands onto the floor and the five points onto the floor. Um, if you have any wrist issues when you're doing your, um, your inversions or maybe your arm balances, um, then that probably means you're not engaging your arms, uh, your hands firmly down onto the floor, your fingers are loose and um and you don't press down all the joints onto the floor to give yourself a firm, stable balance. Um, ideally, you want to have your fingers, index fingers, sorry, facing forward and all the other fingers spread away from one another. And we keep pushing those finger joints down onto the floor and, um, and then we lengthen up from our wrists. We don't sink into the wrists, we lengthen from our wrists. Now, I'm just gonna move back onto my mat so that I can show you um, how to also engage your arms, like I said, when you maybe doing an, an arm balance or maybe a plank so once you plant your hands firmly down onto the floor and um, and you lengthen from your wrist like I said we also need to rotate those elbows slightly facing forward without losing the fingers on the floor then the shoulders instead of you sinking into your shoulders you are going to make sure that you're lengthening from the shoulders reaching away from the floor and that doesn't end there um, let's see if we were to come into a plank. Um, a lot of people find themselves in this position that belly button sinks down, the shoulders um, uh, uh, pull in, the elbows bent. So we need to remember we spread the fingers wide, we push ourselves away from the floor, we lengthen the shoulders away from each other, we broaden the shoulders, um, the upper back, and then we also um, pull the tummy in so the tailbone reaches towards your knees and your belly button draws into your spine a little bit more and that doesn't even end there we engage the quadriceps same way with it standing up earlier and then we keep pushing the heels down towards the floor slightly as well finding our balance on the floor then um, whatever you do then even lifting one hand up the other hand up or maybe you can you want to go into your side plank anything that you choose to do for example you have the firmness on the floor you're using your hands firmly pressing down onto the floor so you're not just relying on your arms on your wrist to carry your body weight think of it how small your wrist is and how big the rest of your body is and think of it if you don't have engage your um, arms or your fingers pressing firmly down onto the floor you can't carry your body weight so always remember spread the fingers wide lengthen yourself away from the floor and keep reaching out towards the sky imagine a couple of strings attached um, to your back between the shoulder blades another one onto your lower back another one at the back of the knees and you're lengthening yourself out towards the sky and anything you do from there hopefully will be easier for you